So to copy this painting, uh, you can take whichever method you feel comfortable with. But for me, I'm gonna use a little system of lines, starting with a circle. But this circle is gonna be the only curvy line that I'm gonna draw. All the rest, as you can see, are gonna be straight lines. And I'm creating a little grid of lines here to help me put everything in the right place. First I found the center line of the face, which is actually going to be closer to the left. And then I created a little grid around where the eyes are going to be. Sometimes you'll see me pointing at things on the portrait. That is so that I can get what's called horizontal and vertical alignment. So when I draw a straight line down, like I'm doing at the moment, I'm telling myself that the tip of the nose lines up vertically with a part of the eye. So that's how you use alignment to help you draw. I've pushed the nose a wee bit too far, but that's okay. The drawing doesn't have to be perfect. When you come to the painting stages, you can make it even more refined, bring it closer to what it's supposed to be. As you can see, I'm treating the hair as one big block shape, the same with the beard, and I'm creating a very abstract shape around each of those things using straight lines. And again with straight lines, creating some more intricate shapes for the eyes. Everything is a straight line. Adding the little glasses, those are a really important part of someone's likeness if they have an accessory on their on their body. Now I am drawing what are called shadow shapes. Okay, so these are just big abstract shapes that you draw around the shadows that you see on the three-dimensional form. These are going to come in really handy once we start putting the colour on later on. And now just a few shapes for the ear, some shadows. And a few shadows down here as well under the chin. All straight lines, remember. And once you've got your shadow shapes done, that's you.